so um, especially the first half when it looked pretty sharp, uh, what's your general yeah. thoughts of how it turned out? Um, I, th I think it was an even game. I think that um, we played well tonight, had our chances to score, but um, it felt one of those games we just couldn't, uh, you know, a couple of fills of wonder, especially second half where he's going to normally bury that, um, but didn't. So I think a draw would have been a fair result. I don't think we deserved to lose tonight. I thought we played well. A lot of aspects of the game, and I think that um, you know, obviously New York are happy to come away with with a win. But um, at least with 1-0, we can go in there and get a 2-0 win and, and go through. So at least it's not way out of reach. And I think that um, at least we have that uh, that to hang on to. Do you remind your guys that this is kind of a halftime score? Yeah, we're one 0 down at halftime. So yeah, absolutely. You know, um, we we're disappointed. You know, because I think we. We deserved at least a tie of this game, I, I felt. Um, we had the chances to score. They had some good chances too, but evened it up. You know, usually it, it ends up a tie, but um, tonight wasn't to be for us. But, you know, not faulting the guys at all. I thought they played well. I thought they had a great spirit, great great energy, um, great commitment to try and win the game. Um, and this is playoff stuff, you know, it's uh, never easy. And I think that's. Um, you know, New York come in and, and, and played pretty well, and uh, we kind of just sputtered a little bit in front of goal. And normally, especially the guys that falls to in, in Wando usually scores. So, but uh, you know, take nothing away from you know, our boys. I think we at least give everything we have. Uh, their goalkeeper showed that he wasn't necessarily always comfortable handling the ball. Is that something you guys can take advantage of in the second leg, you think? Or? Well, I mean, yeah, we talked about the goalkeeper before. You know, he, he, he's very good, but he does tend to, um, you know, under pressure, if he pressure him a little bit, you know, with his feet, he, he tends to, you know, maybe not be the best, but he's a good goalkeeper. He makes good saves. He's good, he's good come off his line. He's very athletic. Um, we don't have to go into details, but we, you know, we, we, we clued in a little bit on him. But uh, I thought we played well tonight, made some good saves at the right times, um, and that was a little bit of the difference, I think. But uh, again, I felt it should have been a tie tonight, but um, wasn't to be. So we're going to look forward to the next game. You guys did a good job of stifling Dane Richards tonight. Yeah. Then Joel Lindpair pops up. Is that the, the danger of a team with so many weapons? Is that some guy will pop up. Well, Maybe I mean, don't yeah. If you look at the goal, it's like a header. You know, header goes right to, right to his feet, takes a touch, and kind of shoots through two of our players' legs, if you like. So, you know, I mean, it wasn't a contrived goal. It's a bit of a, you know, bit of a knockdown when they took advantage of our, our clearance. That um, you know, Brandon makes a good header, I think, in front of whoever it was. He goes straight to him, takes a touch, and scores. So. You know, if it fell to us in the box and we do the same thing, we'll be happy. But that's football, you know. And you know, I, I can't take nothing away from from New York. They did their job and did well. But I'm a little, a little bit disappointed that we um, our guys get better tonight. We didn't get anything out of the game. But um, you know, we have at least Thursday to look forward to, and, and hopefully we can come, come away with a good result. Did you feel like the changes you made in the attack, flipping Wanda and Geo, bringing in Scott for Kari? Yeah, <laughs> you know, you do anything you can do to, to, to stir it up a little bit. Um, you know, at that point, we're trying to score a goal. Um, yeah, I'm happy with our guys. You know, the guys that put on, the guys that started, I have no problems with them. Um, they're all good players and all, you know, actively trying to win the game for us. And I think, that, um, yeah, whatever I try, whether it looks good from, from afar, I if it's the right choice for you know on the bench and we feel we're going to do it so I'll stick with it and yeah I was fine with it. Frank what has to happen I mean if Chris isn't like the one getting it there seems like nobody else is there to get one put one away and it seems to be kind of in the playoffs important. Yeah it is but I mean you look at New York I mean I don't know how many goals Limpair score but he's like you know in playoff you know we've got another game to go we've got another one after that if we get through then we're in the final, so we got three games to sort that out. Someone's going to pop and score for us. You, you can't go through, you know, a number of games without somebody else coming up and scoring to help Chris out. Um, 
but it's about doing that, you know, and, and getting those opportunities. I thought Ryan Johnson had a, you know, a good solid game tonight. It was assist wise. I thought he created some good chances for our other players um, without maybe having a ton himself. But someone's going to pop up and hopefully uh, make the difference for us. Uh, any changes in the starting lineup Thursday? Carly Stevenson, maybe? Uh, we'll see. I'll look at the tape and you know decide what we're going to do. I thought Scott Seeley played fine, you know. So we'll see. We'll see the, the lineup. We need to get a goal first to get moving in this to tie. So we'll see what we do and um, you know look at the tape and, and decide after that. Frank, the guys put lots of energy in and to, to, to get back to the game and do you think three days and travel to East Coast could be enough to, for them to rest? It'll be fine. I mean, they're the same, so no worries. Yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah, we're ready to go.